happening? This is happening. <laughs> Why are you making such a weird face? Is this what you're going to do the whole time? <laughs> God. Hey there, everyone. Um, Dr. Beth Westy here. Stop. What are you doing? <laughs> mm. So that we're going to play a game tonight. Um, this is going to be fun. So in honor, because it's a holiday week, uh, 4th of July tomorrow, I wanted to talk about some health stuff, but I get a lot of health questions from people, from women every day, and I often answer them on an individual basis. So, and I'll do this too with this dog, of course, oh. come on. Oh. <laughs> he just, well, he likes to pop in the video, but he listens to you. He doesn't listen to me. I, t I say no. Anyway, it was going to come around. He's going to come around the other side and pop in here. Um, don't eat that. No, I see you. I see, he's eating it. Do your thing. <laughs> Do your thing. So I get questions all the time. I'll put a link below if you guys have questions and you want to chat ever. You can schedule a call with me. Um, but I answer a lot of questions in the 12-week program that I have for women, nutrition for women's hormones and cycle. And so I thought it'd be fun to play a game. Hi, Sheila. And I'm going to ask you health questions. And I'm just curious because these are things that I answer all the time. And, um, and sometimes people are really surprised to hear the answers that I have just because it's a little, I want to say off the beaten path, or it's a little bit different than what people are normally used to. Aren't you pumped right now? He's so pumped. So I will also, this is my disclaimer. I had football practice tonight. This is why my hair is like wet. It's just a ball of sweat right now hot, right? It's hot. Outside. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? First question. First health question. This is serious. Are you serious face on? Do you have your serious face on? <laughs> yes. Yes? Are you ready? Yeah. You're going to do this? Sure. You're, well, you're doing it. I don't know. Yeah. I, don't, I don't have a choice. You don't have a choice. You're here. <laughs> it's happening. This is happening. Okay. So uh, what is the best way to start the day? Nutrition wise, best way to start the day? Glass of water. Glass of water. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's nice. Yeah. How did you used to start the day? Mm hmm. Me? Yeah. Cup of coffee? Yeah. Cup of coffee? Yeah. Cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. And uh, it wasn't until, oh, like a year and a half ago, a couple years ago, I made you start having protein shakes in the morning. That's right. Mm -hmm. how, do, how does that change your day? <clears throat> Makes me feel so much better. <laughs> I don't want you to make stuff up, you turn. I don't know. No, I, it's, it's easy because then I'm not starving and I eat something. Because I didn't used to eat very good breakfast because I didn't feel like I had time. Because you feel like you have time. Yeah. 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 Okay. Good. Next. Good. You're not going to get out of this by just trying to blow through the questions. <laughs> Hit me. Hit me. Okay. Okay. Yes. So you used to just do a cup of coffee. I remember we used to argue about this in the morning. About what to eat for breakfast. What's the best thing to eat. All this stuff. And you'd be like, I don't have time. Blah, 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 blah. And I used to make you... I would get up extra early and I would make um, breakfast burritos, like gourmet breakfast, gourmet. Yeah, those are pretty awesome. See? Mm hmm. Yeah. You're a better cook than I am, but those were pretty good. Eggs and sometimes some potatoes, sometimes bacon if he was lucky. And then cheese and a tortilla and can then you, can hot you do that sauce. Again? Can I do that? Yeah. Wow. Let's do that. Yeah. But sometimes you wouldn't eat them, or if I wasn't there to make them, you wouldn't always get it. But now you just always have a protein shake, which is fantastic. Yes. Oh, Melody says pretend like they're not watching. Yeah, nobody's watching, so it's okay. You can just, we'll just, we're just having this conversation about what the best way to start the day is. So I often tell a lot of people the best way to start the day is wake up, have some water, um, apple cider vinegar, lemon water. Um, you know, I, sometimes I put slices of ginger in there. That's good too. That really gets your digestive system going. Um, and then I also, you have something in your eye. Let me poke, let me poke you in the eye. <laughs> and then I also like to get some adaptogens in in the morning, help my stress levels right away. <gasps> ah, Dr. Patrick Flynn. Hi. He's watching. Um, so really manage my stress right from the beginning of the day. But yeah, so glass of water and of course coffee then. 
after that comes coffee, right? You love coffee. Mm -hmm. What's your What's your favorite kind of coffee? Medium roast. Medium roast. Yeah. Yeah. How do, How do you How do you like your coffee prepared best? Because we disagree on this. Black with some grit. Black with grit. That is accurate. It's like okay. liquid tar. I like coffee. He calls it. What do you call my coffee? Foofy stuff. Foofy stuff. Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like coffee. Because I use coffee, and then I'll put in coconut oil and maybe some grass-fed butter or ghee, and then some chocolate protein and um, you know. Uh, pea protein milk or almond milk or something and I blend that and it's delicious and it makes me happy in the morning and he gets his like cowboy coffee which is coffee with grounds in it with grit <laughs> and then you extra. love it <laughs> you gotta pay extra for that you gotta pay extra for the grit yeah. All right. okay all right um tell me what your favorite healthy tea is kombucha oh isn't that tea yeah technically yes kombucha is a fermented tea Ah, I nice. like sleepy time. You do like sleepy time. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So okay. Cool. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is yeah. That healthy tea. Healthy tea. Not yeah. Snapple or sweet tea. <laughs> yeah. No. What did you buy the other day? Oh, that was an accident. I slipped. That was not an accident. <laughs> okay. Nice. <laughs> slipped. Ugh. Anyway, um, name off some good protein sources. What are some good protein sources? I get this question a lot when I talk about protein, uh, getting some protein. Dead animal. <laughs> Shakes. <laughs> Dairy. Dairy, yeah, uh huh. Yeah, good. What's your favorite protein? Dead animal. Dead animal. <laughs> Any dead animal in particular that you like? Uh, no? All of them. All of them? Just yeah. all of them dead? Okay. Mm hmm. Great. Fish. Fish. I do like fish a lot. Yeah, yeah. You are really good at making fish. You make so he makes uh no, I wanna to I wanna talk about this. This is important. This is yes. fantastic. Yes. It's fantastic. <laughs> so good. Right? He's so excited to do this. Can you tell? Can you tell? Um so H is a big outdoorsman, hunt, hunting, fishing, all that stuff. Was actually a guide out west for a while. Um, so he <laughs> KB has dead animal. Um, so he does a lot with acquiring, you know, free range organic, right? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, how many deer did you get last year? Is it three? Mm -hmm. Three deer with your bow? Yep. And there's a lot of ice fishing that we, that we do. Um, and you go up to the Boundary Waters. He's not going to tell you where he goes because it's secret lakes. But then he pulls all these big walters through. And we eat a lot of fresh lake fish. Um, you make it really, really good. Probably not the Hallowales way. But I figure, hey, it's protein. It's fresh. It's so nice. Yes. And foraging. Foraging. That's right. Mushrooms. More, foraging mushrooms. Yes. I almost forgot about that. Those are a good source of protein too. Yeah, you Maybe. were you were down by the river. How many weeks ago was that? A few weeks ago, <laughs> down by the river, and you found a in my van, <laughs> down by the river. No. <laughs> <It's so laughs> <weird. Yeah. laughs> down by the river, <laughs> man. He is a good sport. He is a good sport, right? He's being such a good sport right now. Um, but you saw a chicken in the woods mushroom. Yeah, big bloom. That's a good one. Yeah. What's a good one? Yeah, we, yeah, left most of it down there because it was way too much. It was enormous. There was so much mushroom. Gave half of it away. Yeah, and we still had, I mean, how many pounds? Or, like, it filled, we have this big, huge cast iron skillet that we cook a lot of our meals in. And we filled that cast iron skillet. Um, and another one. And another one, yeah. With, we made chicken, or chicken of the woods. It was mushroom tacos, so we made tacos with it. I didn't make it, he made it. Stop! This is you. Just he just wants to get through the list. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So if someone were to ask you this, what would what would you say? I can't put the list over there, so you can't look at it. What What's the healthiest food? What is the healthiest food out there? I have people ask me this all the time. 
The one I'm eating. <laughs> the one you're eating? Okay. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, people ask me this question all the time. I don't What's... think there is one. You need, you can't just eat one food. Well, they'll be, they'll, people ask me things like, oh, are avocados like the healthiest food for you to eat? Are avocados the best? You know, stuff like that. Moderation. Moderation. Yeah. That's actually, that's actually my answer when people ask me, oh, is this the healthy food or is this the healthiest food? I always say it depends on how it fits into your entire, you know, nutrition plan. You know, sure, avocados are healthy, but how does that fit in? If you just eat avocados all day, every day, right? That's not going to work. But yeah, so it's how everything kind of fits together, right? It's not just one thing. It's not just one tiny piece. It's the entire blend of it. Don't take my rock tape off my knee. I have rock tape on my knee. And he's trying to pick it off. Ooh. Should you eat before you go to bed? This is something that when I chat with women about, I get, there's so many different controversial answers. There's a lot. Should you eat before you go to bed? Me personally? Well, should, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have two part, two part answer. Stop picking up my rock tape. Two part answer. Should you personally, you personally eat before bed? Yep. Or, and should people in general eat before bed? Yeah, if you want to, do it. <laughs> Be free. Do you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you want to, yeah. do you. Do you eat before bed? Yes. What do you typically eat before bed? Stuff. What is stuff? Maybe some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I interrupted him doing? To come down <laughs> and do the video with me? <laughs> and I'll eat what? other foods too, though. I know you will. I know you will. You'll have second dinner. Mm hmm. <laughs> and a huge bowl, of ice, huge bowl of ice cream. Yeah. Right? Right? I like ice cream. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yes. Um, what I actually just finished eating was... Um, protein cookie dough. So it's almond butter and I use um, a little bit of honey and then I heat that up in the microwave, pour in some chocolate protein. I love chocolate protein. I use that a lot. And then almond milk, mix that up. It makes this really delicious cookie dough that's protein packed. And I just finished having that and that's what I usually eat before bed. If I'm going to eat before bed, that's what I eat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's good to eat before dinner. A bed. <laughs> Before bed. And dinner. And dinner. <laughs> eat. Have first dinner, second Sorry. dinner, and then eat again. And it's good. Yeah. That way you can build protein while you're sleeping. Mm -hmm. But again, a lot of people think I'm not supposed to build eat protein. before bed. What? Build protein. Build muscle while what? you're sleeping. Did I say build protein? Yeah. Oh, excuse me. I meant build muscle. I get it. Yeah. Do you get it? I do. You like this game. I like this game. You love this game. We're going to play this game all the time now. With all the, with questions that I get asked, um, that women like message me or they ask in conversation or something, I'm gonna start making a running list and we're just gonna, and then I'm gonna ask you the same questions because it's fun. I'm having fun. <laughs> all right, is fat good or bad? It's a trick question. Is it? Why is it a trick question? Well, some fats are bad, right? Mm-hmm. Like trans fats. Yeah, those ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very but good. Other fats are good. Like what? What's it what's a good fat? Bacon. Bacon. <laughs> um oh mono unsaturated, unsaturated fats. Oh my god. Right? Unsaturated. Mm -hmm. Like what what is an example of something that is a good a healthy fat? Like a food. Avocados. There yeah. it is. Avocado, oh, coconut. Stop picking at my rock tape. Coconut oil. Coconut oil. Olive oil. Yeah. All mm. good fats. Um, Vegetable fat. Yeah. 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 No. yeah. No. I'll ask you one more question and then you tell me, you want you to talk, tell me your favorite food. All right. So can you have, yeah. Can you have too much protein? Can yeah. You, really? Yeah. You can. Yeah. Uh, like how how would that look or how would what would too much protein be? Mm, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you too mean? Mu too much? Yeah. Well, if you get like 
too much, you get gassy, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. Too much. I don't know what too much is. I don't think I've done that in too much. You don't think you've had. You don't think uh, you've had too much protein. No. <laughs> okay, that's fair. I would agree with that probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, protein is the number one nutrient I find that women do not get enough of. So I tell them to increase their protein amount during the day. A lot of women on average get, you know, 50 or 60 grams a day and they actually function much better, get more energy, build more lean muscle if they're getting, you know, say over a hundred or more a day. So it changes a lot. Um, but again, women are nervous about eating more protein or think, oh, I'm not supposed to eat that much or the body can't handle this or I'm not, I'm not sure that I'm supposed to be eating this much protein, that type of a thing. So that's one of the things that I first change for women, especially in my 12 week program. I change how much protein they eat right away and they notice a huge difference in energy and focus and starting that, that new foundation of health. So that's really exciting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I like how you're like confused by that question. Yeah, that's exciting. It is exciting. So exciting. So exciting. Um, last question. What's your favorite food? Just so, pe just so people can get to know you a little bit better. I like all foods. You like, okay. I don't know. I don't, I don't dislike any food. I don't think. Really? Unless it's like I old, know. O overcooked mushy broccoli. I don't like. <laughs> yeah, you don't like that. I know one food that you do not eat and you will not eat. Mm -hmm. Leftovers. You do not like leftovers. If I have a lot of left, I, I'll eat some left. Mm, mm. No, you won't. Okay. No, you won't. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> but your favorite food? What's your favorite food? Fish? Walleye? I don't know. I like. I thought that was gonna be the easiest I like question. All sorts dead of animal. <laughs> Julie says dead oh, animal. Right, yeah. What's your favorite food? Dead animal. <laughs> dead animal. That's probably accurate. <laughs> Julie, you nailed it. Thank you. <laughs> that was great. All right. So this was just for fun. Thank you guys for tuning in. <laughs> I will put a link below if you have actually a serious question or if this triggered something for you and you're like, Ooh, I'm actually wondering about this or wondering more about protein at night or something like that. Um, feel free to chat with me. Um, I've got some really exciting stuff coming up. I'm doing some amazing podcast interviews. So if you have not subscribed <laughs> to ice cream, see, you do love ice cream. She was listening. Yeah. Um, if you have not subscribed to my podcast, you know, do that, you know, and then my book, the female fat solution is on Amazon. If you haven't picked up a copy, do that also. Um, yeah, but this was really fun. I hope everybody has a safe and very, very enjoyable 4th of July tomorrow, but I just wanted to pop on and do something kind of fun and answer some questions. So if you guys have questions more, you can always message me, but I will be compiling another list so we can do this again. Cause I thought it was fun. Isn't it fun? So fun. That's that's what you're supposed to say. That's what you're supposed to say. Oh, you're talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. Yes. Shh. Yes. So fun. So fun. So fun. So fun. Super. Can't wait till the next installment. <laughs> yes. All right. Thanks everybody. Have a great fourth.